Hey guys, John here. Uh, you know, we've done several tutorials here over the past year or so about reflective imaging from kaleidoscopes, telescopes, the uh, uh, 3D holograms, and for the most part we've worked with acrylic mirrors. The reason we work with them is because they're very inexpensive and pretty decent quality for uh, using the uh, tools as light painting brushes. If you're going to do imaging, however, you'll probably want to move up to a glass uh, mirror. The best of the glass mirrors is the first surface mirrors. Now, in the tutorial I had done on kaleidoscopes, form and functions, the one that was really kind of geeky scientific, um, it talks about the first surface mirrors. And I didn't really say where to get it, I just said you can find it in a lot of electronics. And then I put a picture of one of these uh, projection TVs on there. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to get the mirror out of this TV. All right. Uh, the mirrors that are in these, I've had five of these given to me. And out of the five, four of them had first surface mirrors. And the fifth one had just a very good, uh, high quality reflective mirror for the projection TV to work and have a clear image. The mirror that it's projecting on uh, has to be pretty high quality so if you get one that has a second surface mirror you've not really wasted your time taking it apart because like on the uh, 3D holograms I actually want to have the scene where I can get some light into it and by using a second surface when you put them together the mirror is separated just enough that the flares coming off of the 3D uh, illusion makes real good flares but if you're looking for something like the telescope and you're going to do imaging with the uh, mirror, the first surface is the best way to go. And like I said, four out of five, all the name brands that I took apart had first surface mirrors. The one that didn't, didn't have a label on it, I don't know who made it. Uh, but the mirror was still a very high quality mirror. So you're not going to waste your time uh, rounding you up one of these TV sets. Now, where would you get a TV? Um, all I did was post it on my Facebook page. Does anybody know, anybody that's got an old projection TV they want to get rid of? And that's where I've got all five of mine. Uh, my neighbor actually called me yesterday and asked me to come help him swap his TVs out. He took advantage of Cyber Monday and uh, he happened to have a projection TV. He was just going to get rid of it. He didn't want to give it to nobody because it was an older TV and probably wouldn't work that much longer, especially moving it around. So I brought it over here to the house. The biggest headache with these things is getting rid of them once you get the parts out of it. They can't be thrown in a dumpster or taken to uh, a, a garbage dump. They have to be recycled. But most of your electronic stores like Best Buy and places like that, they charge like $25 to recycle your old TVs. All right, so if you get a TV for free to 50 bucks and it costs you $25 to recycle, you're spending 75 to 100 bucks on a $500 piece of glass, all right? That's what made these TVs, part of what made these TVs so expensive is the quality of mirrors that are in them, all right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into the TV so that you can actually see me taking it apart, but I'm going to be walking around in front of it. I don't have a cameraman. I'm going to fix tripod, so you may get a little free booty shot while we're, while we're doing this, but I want to show you how easy it is to get that mirror out and put it back together where it's ready to be sent off. Uh, a bonus to these projection TVs is down in the base of them, once we get this front off of it, there's uh, three high quality magnifying glasses too. I'm real big into hoarding stuff like that. You know, as a builder, I can always find use for stuff. So the two elements I want out of here are the magnifying glass and that mirror. So without further ado, let me show you how we take this thing apart. Now before I zoom in, I'll let you know that there's uh, four screws across the top on the back back here and then two more down below it. So I've got eight screws to take this casing off. Uh, all the TVs that I've taken apart have been very similar. They may have different styles of screws, but the basic uh, assembly to get to where we need to get is the same. All right, so we'll do a quick screen flip. I'll zoom in and we'll get started on disassembling it. All right, now looking behind here, there are combination screws that has a Phillips head and a quarter inch uh, bolt head. I'm just going to use the quarter inch bolt head to see if I can get these out of here. I 
I've actually already taken all of these last two out. But as you can see, that screen, once I get the eight screws out, this screen just kind of tilts forward. There's screws along the bottom, but most of these are plastic, and I'm not worried about salvaging it, so I'm just going to force it down. Now, whenever I force it down inside of it, you find that there's a panel plastic. You got your defuser and uh, a clear screen and a dark screen, so there's actually some usable plastics in here. He said, I'm a big hoarder, so I'll end up using a lot of that. Some of it I'll just use when I'm doing resin boards and stuff like that. And like I said, Best Buy or whoever the recycler is, they don't really care the condition of the TV. But if we look down in here, oh, as I mentioned, there's some magnifying glasses here. Now I just take the screws out and pull the whole housing out and I'll disassemble them later. But these three projectors are, have very high quality magnifying glasses in them. And right here is this mirror. Now, I haven't tested it yet, but let's see if I take my finger and I touch the mirror. When I touch the mirror, my fingernail is touching my fingernail, meaning it is in fact a first surface. If it was second surface, there would be a gap where the glass, the thickness of the glass is between my fingertip and its reflection. But there is no gap, it means I've got a first surface mirror in here. From the looks of its size, we're looking at probably, like I said, about a $500 piece of glass sitting there. Now the way it's mounted in, if I look in here again, uh, it looks like it has the same quarter inch with the Phillips head combination. So we're just going to go in here. I'm going to take the top bracket apart first. Oh, excuse me, nope, I was wrong. These are torque screws. What a torque screw is, is basically little star-shaped screws. I don't have that one sitting here. So let me go grab my, my screw kit and see if I can't find one of those torque heads. All right, and what I mean by torque head, I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but like I said, it's just a little, they're called torque heads. They're like little stars. All right, let's put that in here. Then we'll use an extension since that's kind of narrow. All right, now let's see if we can get that out of there. There's one, two, Across the top. All right. Those brackets will just pop out once you get the screws on. Now we've got a couple on the sides here. I'm just going to loosen that one because that looks like once I get these side brackets off, it'll come out. And I don't want it to just fall out on me. It'll be a shame to break a, a mirror. They're pretty thick. They're pretty 
pretty durable. But anyway, that's really all there is to get you a piece of glass out of it. Take this front end, push it back up, put the screws back in it, load it up in the truck, take it over to Best Buy, and uh, pay them 25 bucks, they'll recycle it for you. I've got the TV for free, so $500 worth of glass for 25 bucks. Yeah, I'll take that. Anyway, um, I'm going to sit here in a minute and pull these magnifiers out. They're just uh, Phillips head screws, looks like. I'll have three really nice uh, magnifying glasses. I'll take my mirror, put something on the front and the back to protect it, a cardboard, and tape that together, and I'll put it up for whenever I get ready to make a build. I've got some nice glass to work with. Anyway, hope this helped you guys out. We'll see you next time.